Alright, here's the uh, 3D printed gold pan by Pandalum. You can see it's uh, it's not very large, it's about 3 inches. I scaled it down a little bit to, to fit on my automated build platform, but hey, we're going to give it a try, you know. So, obviously I'm not going to take this thing out to the river. So, I have here some some light uh, light sands from my concentrates and I have some heavy black sands and here I have uh, we're gonna cheat I have some gold nuggets some little gold flakes so we're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit and we're gonna take some of this sand here put that in our gold pan we'll go ahead and take some gold so it's all mixed in I don't know if you can see that on video but there all that's dumped in and then I have some black sands here these are really heavy magnetic so they should sink to the bottom of the gold pan all right and we have our make-believe stream here there's still another little piece of gold in there so let's make sure we get that out All right, let's give it a try. So we have our little little stream. And for anybody who's never gold panned, you know, the idea is to uh, put everything in your pan and shake it like this. And what happens is the heavier materials fall to the bottom. And then you'll swipe off the lighter materials with some water. And you can kind of see that. You can see those lighter sands build up to the top as I shake it because they're settling up from the bottom and then I use the water and pull those lighter that light layer off so you do this just over and over and for the size of the pan and for the size of the material here the flakes that I put in there are huge so this shouldn't be that big of a deal to get out We're gonna give this a try and see if it works. So as you get closer to the bottom, you wanna be a little bit more careful because you don't wanna fling your gold out. I'm gonna rotate this just so you have a cleaner area to work with. Oh, I just, I saw it. I just got a piece of gold out of there. Well, okay. Well, there's gold here in my panning out gold in the river. Here it is, right here. That little piece right there. Oh, it'll do. So in a real gold panning environment, when I get to the bottom of my material like that, the bottom of my pan kind of do a shaking process to move it all and you can see all the gold come out so let's pan it just a little bit more I have some smaller ripples we're going to try these smaller ripples This were really my gold pan. By this point, I would have taken all this material and put it into another bucket, and I'll go through that bucket later. Use a magnet. So when I get this low, I would come in with a magnet because, like I said earlier, all this stuff's heavy. Magnetic black sands, and come in, and they'll come up just like that. See all that? And so then we can see there's gold in the bottom of that pan. Hope you can see that on video. But uh, I think that uh, demonstrates that this 3D gold pan does, does in fact work. And uh, hopefully uh, 
you know, maybe one of these days I can get me a bigger 3D printer and I can print one that I can actually take out to the river with me. So, alright, well, good deal. Thanks, Pandalum.